Hello and welcome back. We are back in the 10k world and looking at um, the rocket build. We're going to start off with the satellite um, and a couple of episodes ago we set up a planner for this and started working through the logistics and some of it was quite scary, some of it was quite achievable. So what we're going to do today is see if we can build the um, radar build because I think we can get sufficient radars built um, for 10k rockets, um, 10k science, sorry, 10 rockets a minute, um, pretty much as is without needing to get too stressed. So I think we can do this as a single build. Let's, let's give it a go. Okay, so this is the bill of materials we're looking at one radar machine, one gears machine, one green circuit machine, one coil to support that, one copper smelter, four iron smelters. That should be sufficient to get our um, 50 radars a minute going. Okay, so let's see if we can build that. Should be all right. So uh, let's start off by just putting down some machines um, to remind us. So we need, um, right, let's close that. So we need a radars machine. Ah, it's under combat, isn't it? Okay. Uh, we need one gears. There we are. We need one green circuit, one coils for the circuit, then we need one copper smelter. It's actually tempting to direct feed the copper, isn't it? Since it is one copper. Um, Okay, one copper and four iron. So that's a really tiny build. Um, and it sort of doesn't sound like it's worth putting on its own. Um, but it is probably worth putting co-located with the satellite. So I think I'll do that. Um, okay, so The next build after that would be the accumulators, and that's quite a substantial build. Um, probably one that we want to split into two. So I'm going to, since we need to split that in two, I'm going to leave it. So we're going to build this. Okay, um, and we've got a number of things here we can direct insert. So this is the satellite. Okay, so I'm thinking we can direct insert the radars. Where's radar gone? That. Okay, and I'm thinking the radars, we can either direct insert the gears or the green circuits. Now, what do we have here? We need five of each. So it's six and two threes. We can actually direct insert both. Okay. So this could be gears. This could be green circuits. Then this, we need the coils. And then we could actually direct insert the copper because we only need a little bit of copper to make this work. Okay, so let's, there we go. So this is gonna be our copper smelter. Then we need um, 
Does this need plates? Yeah, this needs plates. So we need four iron smelters, and they'll be the full 12 beacon one. And they, they are the things which are going to um, really eat up resources. So we'll stick them near the front. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So that can go. These can all go. I am going to see if I can find a, a disposable blueprint. We're running low on those. I really want... Yeah, here we are. Okay. We could flip this around a bit. Um, so we, we could, for example, put... I'm just thinking about where we put the gears machine. Um, because we could put the gears machine here. Okay. And uh, how would that go? That would need to go like that to feed there. Maybe it's not worth doing the direct insert. Um, so then this would be the satellite. Okay, then we could have um, Oh, sorry. Gears into radar. That's it. Then we've got um, green circuits, which kind of makes sense to put here because I'm just looking at how this is going to line up. I really want this to be a tile closer. Okay, so this would then be green circuits. I think we're going to be able to get away with having the coils directly there. Ah, then we, we need two tiles. Maybe this isn't going to work. Maybe this won't work. Okay, let's let's think this out again. Um, what else goes into this? All the other items. So it's just the radars, and they're a, they're a low volume thing. Okay, so let's make this the direct insert chain. And that is five builds. Okay. So if we were doing a, a direct insert build, we need a gap. like this. So we have a, a square in the middle where we can have the inserters pass things across. There we are. Okay, so let's start putting things in. Gears. Satellite. Sorry, not satellite, radar. Sorry. Green circuit. 
Okay, and I very much doubt that this green circuit build needs to be full speed. Um, there we go. Let's grab some... Can that go? Yep, it can. Great. Okay, we can get rid of all the power poles. Great. Um, then I think we can squish these two up. We may be able to squish a lot of this up because uh, the rates may be just ridiculous. Okay. So this would produce 1,000 radars a minute. Um, <clears throat> we need nothing like that. We need 50. So we don't need any of this stuff really. This is all a bit ridiculous. Okay, let's put some prob mods in in any case because Yeah, there we are. Okay, so let's find out what the rate is on this. 750, that's still massively more than, yeah. Okay, I think these are about the right speed. Um, we can probably even re remove this entire row of beacons. Um, Right, and then this can be fed with a single smelter, I believe. Which again, we will prob mod. And these are the only things that really need beaconing. Okay, let's find out how this works. So this is still producing 450. We'll have to run this to double check, but I think that's probably fine. Okay. And we can bump these all the way up. Okay, so this is going to need plates. Uh, do I want to bump it up? No, I think I do actually. We'll see why in a second. Okay, so this needs iron plate. There you are. This also needs iron plate. We're, we're direct inserting the gears and the circuits. Okay, the circuit also needs iron plate. And this needs copper, but it's having it direct inserted. Then the copper needs copper ore. Yeah. So let's put some copper ore into the copper smelter. Let's put some iron ore into the iron smelters. And rate all this out. Okay. 
So, this is using 450 radars. We need 50. So we're producing nine times as much radars as we need. Let's double check that number. Radars 50, definitely 50. Okay. So everything else can be one ninth of the radar requirement. We are requiring um, 2,250 of gears. That's, that's like 22, 8, 16, 24. So 300 would be fine. The gears we're producing is 600. So we're producing twice the gears we need. Same thing for this. So we, we would need 300-ish green circuits. We're producing that. Uh, we have more than enough coil being made and um, we have more than enough copper plate to produce the coils that we actually need. Okay, and then for the iron plate, um, again, we are well within our tolerances. So uh, there's a, a factor here. Um, I think we're fine. Yeah, well, let's run it and see. So we want to see if this produces more than 50 radars a minute. Okay, so this would have, and then we need to put the radars out somewhere. So let's put them into a provider box there. We will cap this at one stack. Okay. So then let's set up a duplicating provider. Actually, let's put down some radars first. Okay. Um, we had some There we are. Okay, let's put in some provider chests. Uh, first of all, we put in a requester chest. So this is going to request radars. A hundred of them. Great. Then we will. Um, Set up duplicating providers, one, two. And that one. Okay. So we want to produce radars at 50 a minute. And if we don't hit that, we need to figure out which thing we're short of. And this is one of those things where we just have to let things run for a minute. Okay, let's see if we look at the five seconds, it's bouncing around 40, 40, 48. Okay, so we're not there but we need to understand what, what thing is the shortfall. Um, okay. So we're above the 40. Okay, so we're, we're not hitting 50. Um, let's w go down one thing at a time. So uh, if we look at the machines, we're backed up on gears. Okay, so this is waiting on 
circuits. Circuits is waiting on coils. Okay, so coils is running at full speed. Obviously is not running fast enough. Let's give it a second beacon. Okay. I think that beacon helped. We're now zigzagging here. Yep. Go back here. So this is waiting on circuits. Circuits are waiting on coils. Coils are waiting on copper. Okay, we may have to come up with a better plan for this uh, smelting machine. So it's definitely the green circuits which are back, and it's definitely the coils which are holding it up. Are we at 50? No, we're not. Okay. So how else can we do this? Let's move these down. There we are. Okay. I'm just going to work out how far out we can get these things. So there's room for another beacon there. Oh, apparently you can't move ro robot ports. Okay. <clears throat> so we're now up to... We're getting there, aren't we? Over 10 minutes. Just letting this run off the end. And I think we're there. We're now creating more than 50 radars a minute. Yep, 53, 54, that's, that's a big enough margin, isn't it? So I call that a result. This is our radar build. Nice and neat and self-contained. Um, we will mothball this because uh, obviously at some point we won't just be producing radars, we will be producing satellites. So let's change this request from radars to satellites. And where are they? They're in intermediates, aren't they? Okay. And to make this work, we would need some other items. So we need Blue circuits. We would need low density structures 
and rocket fuel. Okay, then we would need an addition solar panels wherever they are. Solar panels and accumulators. Okay. And we probably have an issue here of the number of inserters. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this episode here. Next time we're gonna tune the uh, satellite itself and we're gonna have a look at um, but basically what else is needed to build the satellite, which of those things could be done here. I've got a feeling we may be able to do, for example, the solid fuel, but we'll, we'll have a look. Um, until then, thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.